Good day everybody and welcome back to PHP Runner Tips and Tricks. Today I am answering an interesting question by Shuaibu. Now I know for a fact that I mispronounce your name and please accept my apologies for that. He asked how to spice up his login page with some additional HTML. Now here you see the normal login page. He would like to move the login form to the right of the page. And then add some text next to the login form right here in the green area. Now before we jump into it, thank you very much Excellent Soft for this amazing software. After today's tutorial, you will indeed agree that this is truly state of the art software. Please go and visit the website and get your copy if you haven't done so already. Now just a little bit of a disclaimer from my side. Although I have a solution for this question, I do not claim that this is the best or even the only way to do this. There is also a very nice tutorial on Xlinesoft blog explaining a very similar subject. I will leave a link in the description to this article. I also would like to hear from you guys what you think of the solution and more importantly if you have a better way of doing this please share with us now before i jump straight into php runner i just want to set a foundation first i'm going to assume that you have a basic understanding of how a html page are constructed in terms of the html layout we are going to focus on the code within the body tags. In PHP Runner there are also additional tags that indicate the beginning and the ending of a block of code. Here I show you the tags that marks out the body code block. They can easily be recognized by the word begin and end. They are also enclosed by curly brackets. Now in this tutorial we will be looking specifically for the begin super top block and the end super bottom block within the body tags. It's within these block markers where the entire login form renders. You also need to be aware that there will be a lot more code between these two block markers. But I will not discuss them in this tutorial. Now at this point we need to create our own HTML body. First it must have a master head section on top of the page. Then a top navigation section in case you want to use this for a horizontal menu or something similar. We are then going to need a place where we can put some additional text. And then very important we need a right column. This is where we are going to let the login form render. And finally, I'm going to add a footer section. Now you don't have to do it exactly like this. You are free to code your own framework. But I do suggest you plan it first before you start changing things in PHP Runner. Now to create these page areas I'm showing you now, I'm going to use div tags. And this is what the code looks like. The wording in red only act as area markers so I don't get confused later on. It will eventually be removed completely. Also note that each div tag has an ID. The IDs are all now showing in green. Since there are IDs, we will need some CSS code to define the behavior of each ID. And this is what we will be using. I'm simply going to copy paste this CSS code into the custom CSS section of PHP Runner. And the software will do the rest. Now let's open up PHP Runner to apply everything. This project is a simple one page project with a login page of course. I am now going to go straight to the editor page. And I'm going to select the login page. If you click the button HTML mode, you can now see the HTML code behind the page. Also note the begin 
and int block markers I was talking about earlier on. Now since we are going to change some code here, you will have to tick the enable editing tick box. If you do make a mistake over here, you can easily use the reset function to change everything back the way it was before. Ok, step 1. I'm going to cut out everything between the body block markers and paste it somewhere else. I am just taking it out of the way for now. We will need it again in just a moment. So I am going to paste it here in Notepad++ as it works well for me. So please note, we are now left with the begin body and end body tag. Now in this body block, I am now adding my diff layout I designed earlier on. Now there is also CSS for this, so I'm going to click on design mode now and then custom CSS and I'm just going to copy paste my CSS for my layout in here and close the panel and things are already starting to take shape now back to HTML mode I am now looking for the master head section I want the PHP runner header to appear here in the code that I copied out to Notepad++, you will see the header. I'm making a copy of that and paste it back into PHP Runner. I'm also going to do the same for the footer. Go to Notepad++, scroll down until I find the footer, make a copy of that and place it right here. If we now go back to design mode, you will see that the header and footer is back where they belong. Now going back to HTML mode, I am now looking for the page content diff tag. And I'm going to replace it with my channel description. Going back to design mode. Now at this point I need some more CSS for the formatting of the text that was just pasted over here. So I'm going to go back to custom CSS. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and simply add on. There's about seven styles that I now added for the text. And if I close the panel, so as you can see, I paste it twice, once in red and then again in blue. I did it twice because I needed a lot of text. And now for the big moment, we want the login form to be in the right column. Now if you remember from a few moments ago, the login form renders between begin super top block and the end super bottom block. Now going back to Notepad++ where I actually pasted the code from earlier on, I'm going to look for those two tags. The begin super top block and right down at the bottom somewhere here is the end super bottom block. But one important thing that you need to remember now is that the begin super top block includes the diff tag it's actually in just before it. So if I select this diff tag over here, and this is why I like to use Notepad++, it will highlight for me as well the diff tag where it actually closes. And if you scroll down, you will see the diff tag that's now highlighted is the one right after the super bottom block. So that makes sense. I will have to copy the diff tag before this right through to the end super bottom block 
but also includes the closing of the diff tag. So make a copy of that. Going to PHP Runner, click on HTML mode. I am now looking for the right column. Here the right column is. I'm going to take out that text completely and paste everything that I just copied in here. If we're now going back to design mode, that is more or less, I think, what you wanted. Now the only thing that we didn't do anything with at this point is the top navigation section. Now you can simply go and just take out the text and it will be fine. Or just to show you in case you want to do this, you can go into HTML mode, find the navigation bar, the top navigation section over here, and paste the following code in there. Going back to design mode, you will see them where they render over there. But if I add some custom CSS, I'm just going to paste it in here and I close the block and now we have a home news contact about us there. But that was obviously now completely optional. And that my friend, that is how I do it. I'm asking again, please let me know if you know of a better or easier way to achieve this. I really would love to hear from you and learn from you. I will leave a link in the description where you can go and copy the HTML and CSS code that I used in this tutorial. Unfortunately, YouTube does not allow any code to be pasted into the description itself. So the only way to do this is via an external link. Thanks for watching and thanks for asking the questions. There are more questions to be answered from the comments, so please subscribe so you can be notified once the next tutorial is available. Until next time, goodbye.